Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Halflings Today, we're so excited to have you again. Though Nigerians who are supporting Peter Obi have decided to leave the shores of the social media to the streets, many still believe that Peter Obi cannot come out successful. Some are trying to look at his financial capacity and his quest to spend compared to Balak Mektinibu and Atiku Abubakar. But guess what? One of IPOP's leader who has been fighting outside the shores of Nigeria, talking about Simon Ekba, have some questions that he has thrown at Peter Obi as it has to do with him being the president of Nigeria. Don't forget that Simon Ekba has been fighting against the issue of election in Nigeria. He said there won't be anything like election in Biafra land. And he has these questions to ask Peter Obi even as other persons also have thrown a lot of questions at him. Now, he says that those of you, okay, I'll take it again. He said, those who celebrities endorsement will make you president or change Nigeria full and the demography are delusional. How many celebrities have condemned the killing in Biafra land that they organized answers, that they organized answers, what has that changed? Have they condemned Fulani killing all over Nigeria? He went further to say, We are not moved. Biafrans have made their position known on no election in Biafra land. Those celebrities coming for Peter B have never for once condemned military carnage in our land. So, where is the, the fake love? People that could not sustain protests for two weeks. We will shock all of you in 2023. If they ask you what has our lockdown changed, tell them that our lockdown is shaking the foundation of the evil entity called Nigeria, and we will continue until it changed, it totally collapsed in 2023. And someone threw him a question and said, You are simply destroying the investment and business of hardworking. Um, um, Oibu in the southeast. Stop deceiving your gullible followers. You are not shaking any Nigerian foundation or bet better or better come to southeast. Let's shake something. And Simon Iqbal responded, he said, you have added Al Haji to your name. Your likes are not up to 0.0% in Biafra land. All you can do is rant. When the time comes, you will sit at home. And then he went further after all of that. He went forward to say, Busy weekend just started with Peter Oppo, chair of the National Coalition Party. He has previously served as Deputy Prime Minister of Finland and from 2019, Minister of Finance 2016 to 2019, Minister for Agriculture, Forestry 2014 to 2015, and Minister of Interior from 2015 to 2016. And another person asked him a serious question. The person said, what an achievement he has for his country. I hope he is also declaring no election in his country. Or don't he know the good work you're doing for your own country? And Simon Iqbal responded, said, elections are conducted in democratic country and not animal kingdom or evil forest you call Nigeria. Another person here picked it up. He said, if Peter will be love Igbo race, then he should not go do business with the future of his people. He went to London to sign business deal with Britain in the name of politics. He knows he can never win. So why deceiving people? God bless Biafra. Another person here says, the subtle political campaign for Peter B has begun already. Ever since the incarceration of Mazin Namdekanu, why all have covertly and overtly turn into political otimikos. He all team up, launch all kinds of character assassination campaign against Simon Ekpa. A lot of reactions there from people. But guess what? Our focus is on Peter Obi and the fact that a lot of people are supporting him. But the question is, will he win the election? Let's look at what Nigerians have to say. Someone here say, Peter Obi is only popular, that's all. Man has no strong food 
or stronghold when it comes to politics as much as I would love him to win. It's only a pipe, a dream. Deep down, people know it, but they don't want to admit it. Reality was set in 2023. Does your passport travel out of the country, even if not nearest Ghana? Another person here says, one thing I have discovered since Peter will be declared is that all those shouting Biafra online have calmed down and started talking about Peter will be. Biafra ag 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 agitation got people cause of Buhari nepotism. Take that away and Igbos will support you. This one here says, that's how they hype him and Atiku in 2019. Yet Buhari still won with larger margin to 2015, but now he can't even have two million votes another person here says but the very loud and famous people can use their platform to sell him to the populace in a senate claim peter will win 2023 election with a landslide but nigeria's tribe in allowing senior and inept rich people to rule than visionary ones the last person here i want to come say i am sure even the were Sam simon Iqba will soon join the mm, Nzobu, Nzobu online miscran supporting Mr. Pandora. Same way the lunatic Lamini cut a deal with Atiku Pyro to 2019 election, claiming to have signed, sealed, and delivered the referendum for Biafra. They put on their best attitude every three years, soliciting vote for their preferred candidate and fake friendship with those they have caused and abused for the past three years. Hyper followers account on social media are fast becoming obedient and Mr. Pandora's picture is replacing that of Namdi Kano only to lose and go back to their default Biafra or dead welling. Biafra is simply the post-traumatic syndrome of their electoral misfortune. Wow, this is a very dicey one here considering what so many people have said. You know, they believe that, uh, that uh, Peter Obi will not win and that the support people are giving to him will not change the narrative and all of that. But first of all, I would say that the issue of answers changed a lot of things. Today, we do not have some people dressed on black again in the name of SARS ever since Nigerians team up together. The power of one cannot be the, like the power of many. Nigerians are building a very formidable team and they are looking for more people to come in because it can change a lot. It's better to do something than never to do something. It's better to do something than to sit somewhere hiding and speaking out from there, covering cotton on your face and speaking out of there. The ideal thing to do is if you want to change the narrative, you must be ready to say, if I die, I die. If I live, I live. After all, someone say, if you speak, you still die. If you don't speak, you still die. So it's better to come out plain and do it so that Nigerians will see it. I'd like to leave it there. What's your standpoint on what Simon...